tonight only on WVUA. An update on the Demopolis teen injured earlier this month in a bull riding incident. WVUA's Chelsea Barton has the latest on his condition. Hey, Chelsea. Jacob is now awake and undergoing three types of therapy twice a day. I had the pleasure of visiting with him and his family today to learn about his road to recovery. Every day we see him do something more positive and doing something different. He does thumbs up for yes and thumbs down for no. Um, he said the word no so far and he mumbles a little bit, but um, every, every day he gets a little bit better with that. Jacob's mother, Susan Browder, says it's the prayers from people all around the state that have triggered Jacob's tremendous progress. They've just been behind us since day one, and it's, we're just speechless at all that people are doing for us and for Jacob. Two different communities doing t-shirts for him. One's called um, In Jesus' Name We Ride, and the other one's called Praying for Jacob. We have people that want to do trail rides. We have people that are doing bracelets at his school. Two or three of my students that I teach in sixth grade math that did a lemonade stand for him and sold snow cones and stuff like that. Things like that just, you know, just, just melts your heart. The Browders continue to ask for prayers that Jacob makes a full recovery. We want him back the way that we know him, you know, and that it's just hard to see him like he is right now, but every day he gets better. And, you know, and that's all. We've never been in a position where all we can do is pray for our son. And so that's what we do every day. Jacob's parents recently showed him the Facebook support page Praying for Jacob that now has nearly 2,500 followers. He was just, his little eyes lit up and we got a smile from him. I just know we sat down one night and just looked at all of the stuff and we were just, we, we cried for like an hour and a half. It's just really changed all of us um, and just made us a lot more stronger as a family and to, you know, stronger for Jacob. Browder says perhaps the best medicine her son has received came in the shape of his pet beagle, Tebow, who paid an undercover visit. Whoops. The Browders ask that you check the Praying for Jacob Facebook page for updates on his condition. All money donated to Jacob will be used for therapy efforts. If those means are not necessary, the money will go to a charity of Jacob's choice. For WVUA News, I'm Chelsea Barton.